everyone, it's Crafty Music Lover here and welcome to another planner video. Today we are going to be going through my August through December lineup for 2021. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. As you can see, I have quite a large stack of planners here. And if you have been with me for a while, or if you follow me on Instagram and you came here from Instagram, you know that I have always said that I will never be a multiple planner person, that I would always have one planner and stick to that just one planner. However, <laughs> As I continued to get more into planning, as I realized how much I needed to write down and track, I figured that one planner was not cutting it. It was just not enough room. Since everybody is redoing their planner lineup for July through December, I also said, well, this would be a perfect time for me to introduce some new planners and to figure out if multiple planners is even going to be able to work for me. So I have two different stacks here. So this is my daily or weekly content uh, planners. And then this stack here is going to be planners that I grab whenever I need them. So we're going to start with this stack and then go to this one. So starting from the top down, this planner here is my health tracking planner. This is actually the first time that I'm going to be using a different size planner besides the classic and I am excited but also slightly nervous. This is from the spring 2021 release and it is the mini dashboard layout. Um, so like I said, this is my health tracking planner. This is where I will be tracking from anything from health to fitness to food, anything that falls into that category, it will be tracked here. I do have a video up already on my channel of me Franken planning this together, so if you guys want to see that, I will leave it on the screen right up here and in the description box below. If you saw my back to school happy planner haul video, I did show this planner briefly and discuss what I was going to be using it for, but in case you missed that, um, this is going to be my school planner. So this planner came from the uh, 2021 back to school release part one, and it is the classic vertical student layout so if you guys want to see a little bit of kind of how it looks um, this is a little bit of what the layout looks as far as the weekly so like I said this is my student planner I'm only going to be using this specifically for school it's going to track my courses projects assignments tests etc this is a planner you might also recognize from another haul video, but this is my Faith Happy Planner. When I was going through the process of trying to figure out what I needed to track, what needed a large space to track, and just what needed to be focused on, I came across this beauty and I forgot completely about this, to be honest with you. And I'm really glad that I remembered and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use this because I've been really needing a place to track um, my Bible journaling and my Bible studies. So this planner I'm going to be using to track my daily devotions, my studies, my Bible studies, and everything like that. I actually do have a separate notebook that I use for decorative Bible journaling and decorative spreads, but this is going to be um, something completely different. If you guys do want to see like a little flip through, like a little mini look at what that looks like, I'm be more than happy to do that for you but like I said this is what it is going to be used for on this planner and then finally for the lineup for my weekly slash daily use are these two planners and you guys are very familiar with this planner if you watch my planner videos because this used to be the OG planner this used to be the only planner that I used to plan in and this is the good habits happy planner however I realized that I was constantly constantly covering up the track section on each week and it was getting really annoying and it was going to waste because it's a really good thing to use it's just not working for me to use in that specific way so I decided that I would make a catch-all planner and I actually Franken planned this together um, and took some stuff out of this planner so if you guys want to see that video it's also already up on my channel it will be up here on the screen and in the description box below but like I said I decided to make a catch-all happy planner and that is going to be this one and this catch-all is going to be used for just your general stuff it's going to be using for work 
uh, to-do lists, social media, all that kind of stuff. So if I do find out that I need a separate planner for social media, of course I will add that to my lineup. But because I have so much room in the catch-all now, because a lot of things are going to be moving over to other planners, I don't think I'm going to need one. Um, so I'm going to see how this works. And I'm very excited about it because it is a neutral a neutral spread so there's no color on it whatsoever there's nothing at the bottom so I definitely think that this is going to be working to my favor here and then of course we have the good habits happy planner and I'm actually just going to be using this specifically for its intended purpose for tracking my habits and goals so that's all it's going to be used for nothing else is going to go in here I'm going to use it to try and be as productive as possible because I really really love the just one process that oh really a lot I came up with you guys are already familiar with that um, and I, it's worked with me so far and I've been keeping it up and adapting it to my personal lifestyle so that is what I'm going to be using this planner for so like I said this is all of the daily slash weekly content that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using these if not every day every other day because these are the planners that I'm going to be needing to constantly track things in however I do have that other stack that I'm going to show you this stack is specifically for things that I will be reaching for when I need them. So here are the two, well, three memory planners that I have. And then I also have this one. You guys have probably already seen this if you watch my haul videos. I did show this. This isn't a planner. This is a recipe book. And like I said, I will just be grabbing this whenever I need it because I'm going to be doing decorative memory planning spreads for my recipes. So that is what this is for. So these are the three memory planners that I have. They're all used for a specific purpose. I probably could combine them into one, but I really like having having specific planners for specific purposes because I'll be able to use these a lot longer than if I just use it for one purpose. Um, so this one is part of the health Franken plan video that I mentioned earlier and this is just for a regular memory planner but this basically is just what I use to memory plan big events and big things that are happening in my life that don't have room in my spreads and um, that I want to remember. This planner here is my travel planner so anytime I'm visiting a new place, anytime I'm traveling, traveling to a new place or doing something that's travel related that's where it's going to go here and for example for a spread this is when I went to Nebraska to see my sister graduate with her master's degree so this is an example of what my memory planning looks like and then finally the last planner that I have is my dream journal and this is a little weird um, I understand not a lot of people probably have this but I need to track my sleep and my progress on my sleep and I'm also using this space to track my sleep journaling um, like my dreams basically um, and I'm doing this because I've noticed that a lot of the dreams that I have are directly related to things that are happening in my life as far as stress anxiety different kinds of feelings that I have my dreams differ so I really wanted to track that because it's something that has always been interesting to me so I figured that this would be a really good place to track that and there we go that is the lineup for my planners for August through December of 2021 I am extremely extremely excited to have all of these planners to track my life and my goals and to just have a fresh start to planning. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys switching your planners or have you switched your planners or are they staying the same? If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys join me. I do have other content on my channel besides just planner videos. I craft with polymer clay and I have art prompt journal book series as well. So if you guys are interested in any of that, check the description box for a full list of all my different playlists. Don't forget to let me know if you want to see an in-depth look at any of my planners or if you'd like to see that Bible journaling notebook that I talked about. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss more planner-related content just like this. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and are as excited as I am to start a new batch of planners. Until next time, craft on. Bye guys!